So what happens when it's a hot day? I mean, look at them using the fans here. Hot, sweaty, you've been outside mowing the grass, which I'm sure you've been doing. What is it you want? What would you like? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's a cool. Is that a shell or a stuff? What? What is it? It's a rock. That's what it is. Do you want a rock when you're hot and thirsty? No, you don't. What? Let me give you a hint. Water, right? You want water. You're thirsty for water. Yes, sir. You were hot and sweaty in a sleeping bag when it's real hot outside, but that's true. Yes, okay. Well, water helps in so many ways. And one of the things that we talk about in church through when we talk about water is baptism. You see that baptismal font there at the end of the aisle? And what we do when somebody's baptized, we pour water on their head. Or if we were outside in a river, we might immerse them in the river. And what I want to say to you, you're going to hear as you grow up, people will say that blood is thicker than water. Have y'all ever heard that expression? It's wrong. <laughs> it is wrong. Water is thicker than blood. The waters of baptism are thicker than our loyalty to our family, our loyalty to our church, our loyalty to our city, state, or country, that in the waters of baptism, we are made one in the family of God with Jesus Christ. And that is more important than anything else. So if you learn one thing in church, Jesus is more important than anything else. Jesus is more important on whether we make the right motions of devotion, whether we believe the right things, whether we do the right things. Jesus is number one. And the waters of baptism make us all one family, which is pretty cool. So that means I can come to you and borrow some money, right? <laughs> yes. All right. On that note, uh, let's go to Children's Chapel.